Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Flatwoods Hunting Adventures. So if you saw my video last weekend, you know that I just installed a new hammer weight into my dynamic and there's a reason for it. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that I love to hunt deer. And when I saw the specs on the dynamic 35 caliber, I knew that it had more than enough to do what I wanted it to do. As it comes from the factory, so it seems it will not do it. You are going to have to install that tungsten hammer weight to get the kind of velocities that they show. And they even have a disclaimer at the bottom of the website that says, hey, these velocities and foot pounds of energy were achieved with a tungsten hammer weight. And so that is one of the reasons that I did it. I have found something out. I've done a little tuning, done a bunch of shooting with it. Um, the stock hammer weight and the tungsten hammer weight, the tungsten hammer weight is twice as heavy as the stock. And that's critically important. If you had a tune with a stock hammer weight, you just need to look at your settings on your macro and micro. Look at the gauge, one, two, three, and four. And if it were a four with the standard factory hammer weight, drop it back to a two and you're gonna be real close to your tune. And that's what I found out. So I've got some figures for you and we're gonna do some testing here in a second, but I've got some figures for you that I came up with when I was able to shoot it the other day. So with the 68 grain FX hybrid slug, I was actually able to get 1,019 feet per second out of this gun as it sits. Only change done is that hammer weight. And that's 156.82 foot pounds. Would not shoot the FX hybrid for deer. It just, it's too violent. It expands too much. My 84, and this is the FX hybrid. My 84, which is almost identical. This is the NOE. I'll be doing an in-depth review on that very soon. This NOE is 84 grains, and I was able to get 950 feet per second out of it, and that equiv equivocates rather to 168.38 foot-pounds. Remember, this is the 600 millimeter. And then my big boy here is also an NOE mold that I cast. This is a 130 five grain hollow point with the hollow point. It's really 130. And with the 130, and that's what I'm going to show you here in a second, I was able to achieve about 830 feet per second, which is 198.91 foot pounds out of this 35 dynamic. If you look on the website, you'll also know that the 700 millimeter that FX advertises with a 93 grain uh, I think it's a 93 grain. Yes, it is a 93 grain. The listed energy of the 700 is actually less than what I was able to get with my 600. So that's really insane. I am super impressed with how it has shot so far. More importantly, though, I think I am impressed with the velocities that I'm getting in the extreme spread. All those figures that I shot were like, five shot groups just to verify, and they were eight feet per second to 11 feet per second ES. I haven't done super fine tuning. I've spent a little time with my 84 grain because that's what I plan on shooting the most with, but I've set up some fun down there and we're going to start this video off with a bang, so to speak. I've set some cans up with the, this is my 84 grain, which would be this one. I've set some cans up at a hundred yards and I'm getting some pretty impressive ballistic coefficient out of this particular bullet, way more than I thought that I would. And if you saw my golf ball video, you know the kind of accuracy that it is capable of. I have not checked the zero since I've done it. As a matter of fact, I have not dialed my scope back. The last thing that I shot with this gun was that golf ball on my YouTube short. Check it out. It's kind of fun. But I'm going to shoot three... Oh, to the left, that wind. So we're gonna hold uh, about a half mil. Oops, not two over. So half mil to the right, same point impact. Oh, that one went left. Wind, there we go. That's impressive to me. And like you say, you can see the 
rain flags going down range. I mean, I've got some pretty decent wind down there. I didn't even fire a test shot. This was just coming over and I'm able to spot my impact. So super impressed. 933 feet per second. I didn't watch the other two. I kind of did that kind of fast. At 50 yards, I'm getting hole in hole with my 90s or my 84s rather. So I'm going to dial back down to my zero. Actually, you know what? What the heck? Let's put it on the 100 yard. Um, I'm going to adjust my regulator real quick. It's set at 150 bar and my hammer spring is, if you look at the dial, it's right at three. It doesn't matter where the macro is as long as you know you get the right number. So I'm gonna turn up my regulator and I'm gonna turn it to its max. I'm gonna go for about 175. I thought I grabbed the right Allen wrench, but apparently I didn't. I may have to pause the camera. Yeah, I did. And we're back. Sorry, grabbed the wrong Allen wrench. So I'm shooting for 175 bar. Do not adjust your regulator with the gun cocked. It is not cocked. I'm gonna push it on up. There's 160. There's 170. So I'm sitting at 170 bar now on the regulator and I'm actually going to max my hammer spring so you can see what kind of energies I'm getting out of this. Normally we're gonna shoot for a tune um, and I was getting minute angle accuracy. So I'm at sitting at 170 bar on the regulator. I wanna go up another five pounds. Don't adjust your regulator over 180, and I'm not. It's about 175 pounds right there. Hammer spring is now maxed, and I am using the tungsten hammer. So let's see what we're able to achieve with my 130. You do have to single load these. They will not load out of the magazine but I want to give you an idea of what kind of power you can achieve out of the FX Dynamic 35. So we're gonna shoot at that 100 range. I know my dope is different, but I'm still gonna shoot two and a half mils. I'm gonna put a little bit of ride in it and we'll see what kind of speeds we get. So the, of course the zero would be different and I'm very close to 135. Um, I knew my zero would be different, but I was able to hit it 840 feet per second with 135 grain bullet. You do that math, that is impressive. So we're over 200 foot pounds at this level and it shoots. Now you don't get near as many shots at 180 as you would do with the 135s. And these guns are tuned from the factory to shoot efficiently. So you put a 68 grain hybrid in it, you're gonna sit on 130 bar and you will probably have to max the hammer spring. That's what I was having to do. And you'll get 25 shots. Sure, I only get five with the 130s, but 840 feet per second with a 130 grain bullet. I hope you've learned something today. I know that I have. If you like this video, please make sure that you check out my other videos. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. We'll see you again.